What's good, y'all? Alex the Virgo. We back with another video. Today's video, there's going to be no cuts, no edits. This is the video of why I stopped playing high school basketball and sports in general. Now, to start this whole video off, I want to say that, one, I thank you and I appreciate all y'all taking the time to listen to me. Because like, at this point, the reason why I'm, I, I make these type of videos uncut is because it's like we family at this point. Like, y'all my... Y'all my gang. I'm starting to like gain a fan base. Y'all my, my 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 day one. So I try to be completely honest. I feel like a lot of people they make these videos and just be trying to cap for like whatever. Just for views. Like niggas be trying to get sympathy views. That's the real thing, is sympathy views. Like you ever seen those videos where they're like like my mom did this to me or my dad did this to me. And I'm not saying they're not being honest, but I feel like a lot of people just want sympathy views, you know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? This video it starts out with I was about in like the sixth, seventh grade, and I wanted to play basketball for my middle school. It was called the Bose Middle School, but I broke my arm because I got in a terrible car accident. So I had to wait again until eighth grade year. Eighth grade year, I tried out, and I wouldn't say I did terrible, but I didn't do that good. And at the time, I couldn't see that because it's like, you know what I'm saying? When you're like, when you give your all to something and it doesn't work out, it kind of makes you feel like you're not good enough because you're like, you mean to tell me I gave every last bit of myself into something and just for me to not even be good enough like it makes you feel like you're not good enough as a person you get what i'm saying and that year eighth grade year i got introduced to what i like to call nepotism nepotism is um whenever people in higher powers only allow other people that that are either related to them or descended from them get in positions with them like pretty much gatekeepers i realized that like Plus, you know, I live in a I lived in a city called Somerville, and Somerville is a really preppy white school. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, the only certain if your dad's not a principal, or if your dad doesn't know the coach, like a friend of the coach, or if you're not that 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 good, you're probably not gonna make the team regardless. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be like just good enough. You have to be, you know what I'm saying? And that was a harsh truth, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't think I was skilled enough to make the team yet either. Ninth grade year comes around, man. I'm grinding. I'm grinding. I'm I'm doing the drills online. I'm doing the cone drills. I'm literally I'm like I'm a point guard at this point. I mind you, this is my like first to second year taking basketball serious. And this is when I started playing alone. Like I just put in my headphones, listen to my drills, and I would just practice for two hours, three hours a day. Um I was good enough this year, ninth grade year, but I got injured. I got injured during tryouts ninth grade year by somebody on the team that that was already gonna make the team because they played baseball and a basketball coach at my new high school somerville high school a really preppy shady high school the basketball coach was an old baseball coach and the the guy who injured me played baseball so he was gonna make the basketball team not saying he didn't deserve to make the team but that like gave him like he already had an advantage over everybody else you see what i'm saying he injured me he landed on my i blew past this nigga i did it in between the legs and i blew past this man right i went for the layup he jumped on the back of my leg and I felt something pull in my whole like IT band in my leg. For all you don't know, your IT band like runs up your leg. And most people would think it's like either your like your kneecap or think it's, you know what I'm saying, the tendons in between, but it's like this long, stretchy band, like a ligament, right? I I didn't tear it, but I, I strained it a little bit. And I was injured really bad where my knee was just messed up. I couldn't play for too long. And I remember I got put on the spot at the end of the trials. Cause anybody who had the potential to make the team but was about to get cut they had to play this last game where pretty much it was your last game where you know in 2k it's like go big or go home take the last shot if you make it you're going to the finals if you miss it you're going home it was like on something like that go big or go home and i was injured but mind you i was nervous and to be honest everybody at tryouts like the coaches they're like nice to the people they knew and they were mean to the people like us that we didn't that they didn't know so nigga i like, I, I didn't say nothing. I just started playing in the game. And I played. I was just running back and forth the court most of the time. I couldn't do much. I was nervous. And my knee, like, was about to give out. Like, I remember I made first cuts. But second cuts, my knee just wasn't. I couldn't. Like, I was trying to do the in-between the legs drills. And my knee would just shut off randomly. Like, I would just fall. Like, bust my ass trying to do a dribble. Because my knee would just give out randomly. And, um, you know what I'm saying? I just. I was like so amped up, like my my hand was shaking during trials because I had so much adrenaline rushing through me to try to stop myself from feeling my knee. But I'm like the one of their players that already was gonna make the team messed me up. So tenth grade year comes by, I grinded the whole ninth grade year and I cried every time I got cut from the team. I cried 
tenth grade year came, I grinded, I grinded my ass off. Like I worked, I worked, like I worked so hard. That's why, like, y'all see how I post every day. This is literally gonna be my second video of today that I'm posting today. Like I grind, whatever I want, I grind, I grind, I grind, and I don't stop until I get it. I grinded, I grinded. Tenth grade year, literally, my only goal was to make the team. That was my biggest dream at the time was to make a basketball, to make the high school basketball team. And tenth grade year comes around. I'm grinding, I'm doing me, I'm grinding, I'm doing me. Y'all, I make first cuts, second cuts. Tell me why second cuts come and I get injured again. I roll my ankle this time. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when you roll your ankle, it never fully hold, like heals back to 100%. So if you roll it one time, the probability of it rolling again opens up a little bit more. So, and I've rolled this ankle that I rolled like 10 plus times, bro. Like I used to roll it two times a year. I rolled my ankle. I don't know if it was anybody's fault, if it was just me. I think I just landed wrong and I wrote it probably. But they let me sit out for one practice because they remembered me from last year. So they let me sit out for one of the days of tryouts because I already proved myself to the first and second day. Because first and second day, I was dunking in warm-ups. I was getting blocks. I was getting lays. I was pulling threes. I was dribbling the rock. I was just, you know what I'm saying? Like I was, because I grinded. Like I worked for it so hard. So you, you could see that, like, I was way better than the average in the gym. Like, I was for sure above average in the gym, and it helped that, you know, I'm, like, six foot, six one at the time, right? This is 10th grade year. So they they let me sit out one day, then the next day I come, and I'll say this. Since my ankle was messed up, but I had to wrap my ankle, I didn't play as good as I played the first day on the third day. But I hustled. Like, that's something that's always been about me. It's like, I just grind. So, like, in, in suicides... I'm the first one there and back. You get what I'm saying? Suicides, I'm the first one there and back. You know what I'm saying? Rebound, I'm boxing it out. I'm getting a rebound. You know what I'm saying? Like, anytime the coach calls us to come do something, you don't see me walking over to the coach. I'm jogging to the coach, minimum. Like, I'm always moving. I'm always, what's up? Let's get it. Even I'm ne I've am i never been the most skilled on the court, but I've never been the best shooter. I've never been the best j dribbler. I may have been one of the highest jumpers on the court sometimes, but, like, outside of that, I've never been, like, I've never stood out completely over skill wise from anybody else. You know what I'm saying? I've always just been like, I want to say average in all those aspects, but I've always grinded. And I, you know, I'm tall, of course, but I've always grinded. Like I've always, I'm here when I'm playing defense, I'm here. Like I'm, I'm always on you. Um, and I guess the coaches saw that in me. And since I was like the hustler on the team, 10th grade year comes by. I made J I made JV. Nigga, we made it. Turn up, turn up. I woke up. I look at the list. Nigga, I'm on that pitch. Nigga, I'm on it. What? AG, who got cut twice. See, most niggas get cut twice and they just they get cut once and they 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 discouraged. I grinded for two years straight to get where I wanted to be, and I, I finally made it. Bruh. Now here's where I realized how screwed up high school sports is. So First off, practices are six days a week, at least at Somerville. Most high schools is five, but Somerville, once again, it's a preppy. It's like the the it's like the IMG Academy of like South of the Low Country, South Carolina, right? Like they literally recruit players. They they like they do all types of crazy stuff at Somerville. But I make the team, man, and. I'm still injured, right? But I have to keep. I have to go to six six day practices a week. Bro, when I tell you it was so stressful trying to, like, they don't give you enough time to do anything. They don't give you enough time to socialize. They don't give you enough time to, like, rest. Because, like, th I want you to think about something. If you got practices six days a week, you got practice two hours a day. Think about that. So, you're going to go to school from 9 to 4. Now, unless you're waking up at, like, 6, 7 o'clock to practice, then go to school, and you sleep in class, your energy level is going to be off, off the rip. Because you're going to have to get out of that six hour, like that two-hour practice at like 6, 7 o'clock. So then you're going to have to go and practice for another two hours, 7 to 9. Or maybe just an hour, 8. Right? Then you have to eat, shower. You don't get to so socialize with anybody. The only day you get to socialize is Saturday. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well, that's just a grind of hoopers. That's just what we do. Ball is life. That is true. But I want you all to really think about something. I forgot the statistics, but literally less than 1% of the population makes the NBA. Then literally less than like what? I want to say less than half of college uh, high school hoopers even go, like, can play college on a deal. Like, bro, I just want y'all to think think about all this time we put into, like, sports. Like, 
so much of our, our own life, time, resources, money for it to not pay off. Like, I get it if it may be fun at the time. Like, it, it, it is pretty fun sometimes playing sports, like, for high school. But it was like, I thought about all the money and time I put into this. I was like, do I even want to do this long term? It's like, because it's like, if I'm going to put this two hours a day into this, that equals to, like, a minimum of 14 hours a week that I'm putting just into this, like this. And it's like, it's not going to pay me in the future. More than likely, I'm 6'2", 6'3". I'm literally like a center damn near on the team. I'm not a guard. Like, I don't, and y'all aren't helping me develop. It's like with, with high school, with, with sport team in general, they don't help you develop you as a player. Like, I'll say one of my biggest problems I had too was like uh, pregame and in game anxiety. Because you know what I'm saying? My first ever real team I played for besides AAU and church league was a high school team. So I was playing in front of this whole high school team. And my coach, man, his name's Coach Long. He was a dick, bro. Like, I remember I'd be, like, stressing. And he would just yell. Like, he would just yell. And it's like, see, if you know what type of nigga I am, if you're just going to sit here and, like, yell at me, that's either going to piss me off or that's just going to, like, it's going to make me overthink more. Because I had a chronic overthinking problem with playing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, enough a lot of players have that because if you look at modern day sports today, it's like you see Mikey Williams, you see Imani Bates, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving. Like you see, they hype up all these people. And like half these people in fucking high school, they're like thirteen years old, bro, and they're like saying these are the best thirteen year olds. Like this is the standard of basketball. You have to be this to be good. And it's like I feel like we all get on the court with certain expectations off the rip for ourselves that we ourselves can't even, like, fulfill. And, yeah, that might be because of TikTok, YouTube, all his life, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, see, that's a bad thing that can come with the internet is, like, we, like, comparison. You know, kids, human nature, it's human nature to look at yourself then look at something else and compare and see the differences and similarities. You know what I'm saying? When you're looking at all these players and you're thinking, wow, I'm nowhere even near them. I must. And these niggas only got three, four offers. Then how the fuck am I going to get an offer? What? Like, it's like, and I really had to be honest with myself about that. Like, am I going to get an offer? And even if I do get an offer, is it going to be to a good school? Probably not. Like, it's going to be some Juco or like a D3, D7, D17, like something that, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I realized the harsh truth about sports is that enough people, most people aren't going to make it. And if we're being completely honest, yeah, you can say that most people aren't going to make it because, like, nepotism and favoritism, that is that always plays a part. So at that point, you, we, I'm not saying take that out of the equation, but you already know it's in the equation. So just add that to whatever work you need to put in. You get what I'm saying? Most people don't work hard enough. Like, a lot of people, they say they want to go to NBA. They say they want to be NFL players. They say they want to be YouTubers. They say they want to be UFC fighters. They say they want to be millionaires. But how many people do you know that actually take time outside of the actual work, the actual practice they're at, to actually work for what they want? You get what I'm saying? How many non to fibers do you know actually take that time and that money instead of buying the new PS5, new J Jordans and shit? They actually take that and invest in a Shopify account. Like, they take that and invest in some ebooks. You don't even have to buy books anymore, bro. You can literally go type in PDF book, and it'll give you the book. You know, so you don't even have to buy. Most of the stuff, you can learn it on YouTube, online. You don't even have to pay money. How many people do you know? To, they use their most valuable asset to actually help better themselves. Because most people use their most valuable asset. If you don't know what it is, it's time, not money. Their most valuable asset to actually, like, go somewhere in life. You know what I'm saying? Like, to... Like, them same two, three hours people use to play the game, five hours and all those PS4 parties, grown men and all, imagine if they use that to, like, work on a basketball craft, like, just focus on, like, shooting a thousand jump shots, doing the same dribble move again and again till they, till they master it, you know what I'm saying? Learning how to get, get into the stock market, like, stuff like that. Imagine if they use that same, and I'm not saying you have to just do that and can't live a life but there i feel like there becomes a certain point in time in life where you're obsessed and that's the times where i've seen the most growth like with, even with basketball but see in that obsessive growth i realize it's not worth my time and i hate to say this but most high schoolers basketball isn't like basketball football like high school sports unless you're in like cricket that um that jousting like dueling uh fencing you know what I'm saying? Like, those overly saturated sports, most of y'all are wasting y'all time. I get it if y'all like the little high school popularity that comes with it. But all of y'all who have 
NFL basketball dreams and all that, you're not working hard enough. Because if you was working hard enough, you would you would almost already be where you want to be at. If you're a senior like me, like me, and you started freshman before that, and you like were working diligently, staying on it, and not wasting your time, you would already almost be where you want to be. So keep working, y'all. Like that's the biggest thing, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I quit high school basketball. Cause man, I I was I didn't want it. I didn't want it. Most people don't. I didn't want it as bad as I thought I did. I didn't. I wanted to make the team. I like the idea of making a team and being on a team, but actually, like, you know what I'm saying, grinding, all them practices, all them hours, I didn't want that. I never did. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? And I guess it took me to experience it and actually be there for me to see it. So, you know, maybe you watching through the screen, you got to actually be there, see it, and go through it. But, hey, I mean, isn't that what life for at the end of the day? But anyways, look, man, I'm Alex DeVerga. I just wanted to bring out this quick video to explain to y'all why I quit high school basketball. But anyways, man, if you're new, bro, like and subscribe. We got 1.1K. We just hit it, I believe, yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So I'm lit right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to hit 1.2, 1.3, then eventually the 10,000. But anyways, look, bro, like and subscribe and share the frame. Join the Zodiac gang, man. We getting there. We finna get monetized soon. Just wait. But anyways, look. I'm going to see you on the next one.